Hey guys, we have a special announcement for you at the end of the postmortem. Uh, stick around for that. It's gonna be something really exciting. Yeah. And I actually mean that. I know it didn't sound very excited. Oh, uh, it's very exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's pretty cool. So it's gonna be at the end. It's gonna be a teaser for something that's coming your way soon. So, what was that? I don't know what that was. Okay. Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was Colchester Castle. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page and our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page. Make sure you check out the research notes at the BuzzFeed Unsolved, the, the link here. You, you, this one. You got it. And then um, we, we still got that new merch. Oh yeah! yeah. That too, got Just running through the laundry list here. Huh. You may have noticed that we have a new library. Our other one fell into a hell hole. Just it was a, a hell mouth. Like a hell a hole, I'd call it a hell hole. It was a mouth, it, it opened did. up and there were, uh, I saw a uvula down there. Uh, moving on to questions. We're gonna start it off with a little question from Graham Town. Hop, hop on board, here we go. First question from Libby Paulson. I'm interested in the spot where the two royalist leaders were killed that grass supposedly doesn't grow. How is that the case? Plenty of people have died on a grassy area that still has grass today. Do either of you have a scientific or spiritual answer as to why grass supposedly doesn't grow there? You know what, sometimes a lot of haunted locations will have a bit of lore attached to their, you know, their space. And some of the things uh, bend the truth a little bit, I would say. I that's think true. this is one of those things that's just a myth. It was baloney of the highest order, high baloney. But we had to sort through it to find the prime cuts. You know how it is, sometimes you're cutting through a thing of bologna and suddenly there's some prime rib in there, baby. <laughs> That's how it works, you right? Sneak it in there. Uh, yeah, it, it was it was, it was it was gravel. This comes from Facebook. This is Shay Josu. Uh, that woman singing has a great pitch. Do you think it could be the nun or one of the witches? Has anyone ever reported any singing going on? Because that would be a great confirmation to this. Also, Shane, yeah, uh, this is her doing an impression of me. Some video would be great. That's what you said in the booth. Look at this thing. Oh, I think that may go to the roof. No longer for access. Some video would be great. Yes, a video of a ghost singing would indeed be compelling. LOL in all caps. Yeah, He's laughing at you. I don't care. Um, props to Ryan for getting braver in every episode. You have indeed grown into a real investigator. I'm a real boy now. I think a lot of people were talking about the singing. I think it's probably the strongest EVP we've ever gotten. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a... This is classic castle door. The only thing, uh, so I've seen some people say that it could have been wind. Someone said it could have been a dog howling in the distance. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit all over it because I'm gonna let you guys have a fun little moment in the sun. <laughs> okay, thank you for that, thank you, sir. I'll say it could be a lot of different things before I would think it would be a ghost. But, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with it. So you're not gonna go- It's, you know what? It's a ghost. How's that feel? Is that good? It didn't feel good. Like it was coated <laughs> with sarcasm. You, yeah. you gave me a shit lollipop and I'm supposed to enjoy Slathered. it. Slathered. <laughs> Next question from <laughs> Graham Town. Emily Shattuck, this is completely unrelated to the video, but what TV shows did you watch while you were in England? I'm curious if you watched anything that I watch. Smiley face. Uh, we watched, um, would you, would you lie? Was it? Was would it? I lie to would you? Would I lie, would I lie to you? We watched, um, I'm always a big fan of Travel Man. I watched it there on my phone. It was on TV. There was one night where I was desperately seeking Frasier. I, I threw on Netflix and I was browsing, I couldn't find it. And then it dawned on me, holy mother of God, Frasier's not on Netflix here. And obviously for someone like me, that's rough. Turned on the television, first thing that comes on is Richard Ayoade leading people through a magical oh, yeah, maze. Yeah. The Crystal Maze, what a show! Richard Ayoade, uh, that guy's a, a national treasure. Yes, he is. Uh... All right, moving on. Uh, this one comes from Alyssa Fedge. Uh, when Ryan uses the spirit box, right after the male voice says, I swear to you, you can hear the voice of Selena saying, hello, help, hello. Selena? My name's Ryan, can you say Ryan back to me? with each word fainted than the one before, as if being quieted, possibly by the spirit of the male voice. Perhaps he didn't want her to communicate with you. It is very faint, but I definitely heard it. Oh, and quick question. In the hot dog, how did they take a train to Hawaii? Hmm? 
Yeah. Okay, I, I think the hot dog is starting to crystallize for people out there in terms of how it does and doesn't make sense. I think it feels good for me because I smelled this turd way back when. I smelled it when it was miles away. And you said, and, mm, and now that turd bite. No, no, now that turd's arrived in the station and now Lunch everyone's time, starting baby. to go, oh, what's that That's smell? What and you know, now mm. I'm vindicated. Mm. No, That's I'm what not, Ryan was like. Yeah, because yeah, I eat turds. Is that what we're positing here? Oh God, they're you gonna said cut it. that. <laughs> we're gonna, because I eat turds, because I eat turds. I eat turds. I guess that's one way to put it. Yeah. Next question. Wait, no, we didn't answer the huh? other part oh, of the question. Oh, what was the rest of the question? Oh yeah, some voices on the radio. Yeah, yeah. I actually what did the voices on the radio say? So I, have to, I have to go back, I haven't actually checked this. Oh, it's faint. It doesn't even sound like Selena. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Selena. There's some speaking after that. Maybe she was trying to say something, I don't know. To me, it literally sounds like you're, like Lassie is barking at you. Lassie is barking at me? Yeah, like a ghost on like? the radio is just going <laughs> And you're like, Richard. You're the uh, What are you trying to discern between? Graham it's just Town, a <laughs> Rose Kitty Gate. <laughs> Uh, when I heard the shh, I wasn't watching <laughs> and thought it was Ryan. However, Ryan, I couldn't really see any orbs. Okay, let's go for the first part. The shush yeah. is very, very clear. Also a pretty compelling EVP. It was compelling enough that I did think it was one of us. So can Wait. you- Wait. What? You know, it was a dirty floor. You pivot a soul on a dirty floor, you're gonna get a shh. Everybody knows that. Okay. Speaking of orbs, let's go into another question that kind of asks about the orbs. Oh, we got an orb question? From Cameron Wallace. Uh, Postmortems, so you guys are great, and it's really cool that you came to the UK, but please stop pronouncing places wrong. <laughs> Essex is pronounced Essex. Also like, I believe in ghosts to an extent, but orbs, really, Ryan? I said this in the video. I am not an orb. You are an orb person. I am person. not an orb man. That's like someone saying, I'm not racist. No, I'm not an orb guy. That Trust is me, I'm look, 100% look, not. I'm not an orb guy, but come check out these orbs, bro. Oh my God. Okay, here's but the thing. But you gotta admit, that's a pretty no, weird no, no, looking no, orb. No, 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 no. There's a. You showed me two orbs. Our camera catches an orb similar to the one seen in Shane's lockdown moving towards my body. There's a large contingent of people who believe in paranormal things I and mean, believe in ghosts mm -hmm. that believe orbs are a proof of that. They believe that and they're And he's evidence. sitting right next no, to no, you. No, no, large contingent. no, 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 but so to, to appease them and uh -huh. to offer evidence that they may find compelling, this, these two orbs were different than most uh, dust I had seen. So I thought if orbs are indeed real, then these two yeah. may be orbs. Are orbs actually real? I don't know. I, oh, I, I, you, 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 who's, no, I who's, who's paying you, Ryan? What are you huh? talking about? Huh? Yeah, I'm in You're the, in the po pocket of big orb. I'm in the pocket of big orb. Yeah. You, you, what is he, just a giant orb shaped person? Yeah, just hand you just Ghost stacks or of fat cash. Last question. Uh, Katie Nelson? Have you guys considered setting up cameras or microphones around the locations you go to? You could set them up in hotspots and refer to the footage afterwards. Maybe you'll catch something when Shane isn't there to scare the ghosts off. Also, if you come back to the UK, make sure you go to the Jamaican Inn. You won't regret it. Love you guys. Yeah, that's definitely something we're gonna do next season. We've we're, talked about it, yeah. Yeah, we finally will have the ability to sort through all that footage and to actually perform these kinds of, uh... I guess, tests. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna set up cameras and hotspots. Ghost gear is very expensive. You gotta you gotta build out your kit little by little. <laughs> yeah, we're just collecting trinkets. This season we were blessed to get the spirit box. It sounds like a nightmare. It really does. <laughs> and, uh, our, and our uh, laser grid pen. Drop a deuce or get off the pot, buddy. Yeah, that was pretty fun. And then a motion detector lights. Yeah. I think we're definitely gonna try some new things. I'll say this though, when it comes to ghost gear, yeah. I don't, I like analog devices. So you're saying you don't want one of those dumb apps that's like, the ghost just said toast. I don't wanna ever do something like that, no. so. Well, uh, that's respectable. It is. Okay. I'm being serious. Okay, sure. Take a compliment. I don't, and everything you with you is a backhanded compliment. It's so I feel like once I take it, respectable. I, I'm You're a respectable take it. ghost hunter. You have some integrity. Here's so what's gonna, gonna happen. Uh, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the compliment, I'm gonna put it in my pocket, feel good about myself. I'm gonna turn my back, and you're gonna be like. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was gonna fucking stab uh, you. Oh, was Jesus. Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> cool. Ryan, what's uh, what's this week? What do we got coming up? It's the season finale. Oh yeah, the season finale. Whoa! Uh, this one's very fun. He's got a cool graphic for that. Oh yeah, that's what you were doing? Yeah. <laughs> Confetti or um, just like a, a single ghost flashing. 
cool. <laughs> okay. I would say other than the Sally house, this was probably the most scared I've ever been. Wow. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in this episode. Well, that does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Make sure you watch the new episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved this Friday, the season finale, and then send your questions into the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page and the BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page. Um, and now comes the part of the show where he ruins your brain and turns it into mush. Here we go. Our Apparently weekly, he writes while he's sleepwalking. Our weekly Q&A concluded. I now welcome you to the part of the show we call the Hot Daga, a hot dog saga commissioned by Ryan Vergara, written by me and adored by every single viewer. A beach in Hawaii. It's weird. There's actually people in this room and they look like they're the opposite of everything you this just is, described. Oh, we just got a thumbs up. He did that uh, because he wanted to appease a you. Beach he was actually in, falling asleep. A beach in Hawaii. A wedding has been gripped by terror at the appearance of a maniacal hot dog witch and a possessed raccoon. Prepare to die! Flash to white. A hall of shadows. A large hooded figure sits on a throne. Greetings, master. Explain the raccoon. I am Brandon Master, son of the hot dog clan, eaten by my future self, now possessing a raccoon. Makes sense. And what has become of the hot dog clan? The joust did not go as planned. We were nearly fed to crabs. It was a mess, but it was hugely, it was a hugely satisfying finale season, but it was a hugely, it was a hugely satisfying some, season finale. I am displeased, but that does sound narratively rich. The hot dogs, they must be destroyed. We have one last idea, master. Spill it, Pam. Well, you know that prophecy that every hot dog child hears on their eighth birthday about the hot dog who survives a crab joust and is then tossed into a, the fiery pit of a Hawaiian volcano where their soul is forged by lava into the gauntlet of ultimate power, or gup. Can you move your thumb a little bit? I just want to see how much longer we got in this. Ah, the There's gup, a lot of more. course. Hmm. Yes, I can see how that prophecy seems to partially align with the narrative thus far. How could there possibly be more? Very convenient. So your plan then is to drop Dan the hot dog into a volcano, then pro procure the gup for me. Mm, that's right. And we'll drop the rest of the hot dog family too, because fuck them. Very well. Pam, I suggest you use your witch hallucinations to guide Gene to Hawaii. Wherever he goes, they will follow. He is a born leader, extremely charismatic. True. Understand, this is your last chance, Pam. If you fail me again, you will know a fate worse than death. But if you succeed, we will rule the world. <laughs> Laugh with me. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's, let's, let's end it. Let's get, let's get, get out of the library. I hope you fall into the hell hole. We should ask them to name our horse. Oh yeah. You got a name for the horse? Chime, chime off in the comments. Let's chime in. Oh shit. <laughs>